I'm usually asked um, the magic that I perform. How and what is made of? What do you do? I mean, the people have seen me read other people's mind. They go, how is it done? I go, I use my five senses and create the sixth sense. So I could read people, their body language, the way they react, the way they sit, the way they talk. So I could get an outcome and maybe that works in my favor. Sometimes it could be a guess game. Sometimes it could actually be a science. We will try something interesting right now. Now, when I was a small child, my dad made sure he gets me the game of Monopoly. Now, in the game of Monopoly, uh, one of the things that uh, there is, it's the dice. Yes? What I'd love you to do, I'd love you to take the dice. Turn it as much as you want. Look at the top one. Keep your hand straight. Cover your hand. I will try and guess if I could know what number is the number you've looked at. So keep changing. Stick to one. Put your hand straight. Look at the top number. And then once you're ready, tell me. And I'm going to look at you and see if I can guess. And then cover your hand so there is no way that I could see. You forgot yourself. That's going to make, make it more difficult on me. So this is the number you've picked, yes? Yeah. Not a usual number that a person might pick. Not a number that I would say is a favorite number to somebody. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know what I'm saying, but it's a number that you've picked. I don't know if I'm going to be correct. This is all based on me. I came in. We had a little bit of chit-chat. I thought this number is going to be the one that you will be picking for some reason. I don't know. I think it's number five. If it is, please show the camera. It's number five. Thank you very much. Let's try this one more time. Now, it might be a guess. It might be something else. Let's try it one more time. Let's change the number again. You can have a look at the number. If you want, you can show the camera. I'm going to cover my eyes so they could also see the number you're picking. Put it in your palm. The number is facing up. You're going to cover by your hand. And then I'm going to see if I can guess. You're, you're, you're done? You, you're done? Yes. Yeah. Do you have a number? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, what usually happens, some people try and pick the same number just to confuse me and make me look bad in front of the audience, but you didn't. You didn't. Such a nice guy. Thank you. You picked another number. In your head, I want you to think either higher or lower. Don't say anything. Higher, lower. Just if I could read something. Higher, lower. Just, okay, 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 okay. It's number two, isn't it? Just show them, please. Thank you very much. Let's try this one last time. <laughs> yeah. This time, I don't want you to even look at the number. All right. So you wouldn't even know. The audience would not know. Now, this is a miracle happening because then how would I know? If I'm reading your body language, how am I not now reading your body language? But based on my calculation, thinking what might happen. So you don't know. Yeah. Pick, just, Just do anything. Put your number. Yeah. Anything. Any number it is. You're going to cover your hand with the other hand, <laughs> and then we will see. Is it possible for me to know? Now, there is no way you don't know, they don't know, how would I know? But I think, now I'm putting my reputation on the line, I think it's number four. Just look at the dice, please. <laughs> it is number four. 